what's up guys welcome back to my channel so I was you know searching for stuff and I told you guys that I am going to start trying to come to you guys with different crazy stories that I have found and I came across this one and I was just like what okay so I don't know if you guys remember um, this artist named Kesha um, I didn't particularly you know listen to her but I've heard her music before I used to work at a salon where they constantly play different songs and it was like one of those repeat things that you kind of heard the songs over and over and over again anyway this was an article that I found and I'll leave the link down below so the title of it is Kesha clarifies story about having relations with a ghost excuse me Apparently, this is a clarification of a statement she had made prior. I don't know where that article is, but it says, Kesha has played down her claim that she once had relations with a ghost. Let me tell you something, okay? No. Just straight up no. Let's read on. All right, so it says, back in 2012, the TikTok star singer... I don't know if she's a TikTok singer because she was out before this whole TikTok thing came out. Anyway, um, back in 2012, the TikTok singer told late night host Conan O'Brien she had been in the to the bone zone with a ghost. And that's a quote unquote, an experience that has led her to explore the paranormal in a new Discovery Plus series, Conjuring Kesha. First of all, I have never, I don't, I, I don't even get into watching anything called The Conjuring, Nun, Orphan, like all those type of things, like I'm not paranormal activity, mm -mm, nope, I'm not into those things, those things creep me out, I don't like it, I won't watch it, okay, you can pay me enough. I'm sorry, no. So the fact that she has something called Conjuring Kesha, I'm, I'm curious to know what it's about, but I wouldn't watch it. Anyway, it says, however, speaking to E! News Daily Pop this week, the star revealed the encounter was less sexual than her original description. She says, I was in Fort Worth, Texas, she remembered, and I had something wake me up while I was in my bed with my boyfriend at the time, and it was a touch down the body. It says, I woke up, she says, I woke up and looked at the end of the bed and there was an appar apparition of a woman, the 35 year old continued. So, full disclosure, I never actually slept with a ghost. But she did wake me up in a very sensual way. And you like that? I'm sorry, but I'm leaving the house. I'm not sitting here trying to wait to see what happened. Not, first of all, no. No and no. Okay, we're not doing that. Let's move along. The bizarre incident wasn't her first involvement with the spirit world. She says, I've been experiencing weird stuff since I was little, and it's always been in me to be fascinated with supernatural, the paranormal, the unexplainable, the intangible, she added. Describing her new show and attempts to reconnect with otherworldly beings Kesha noted, filming the project has been the most absurd, fun, wild, life-changing thing I've ever done in my life. Conjuring Kesha premieres on Discovery Plus on Friday, which I think was last Friday, because I recently came across this. So, um... Yeah, so you guys... It, it this this I don't I wouldn't want to I don't know I wouldn't want to watch this because I would just be a little freaked out as to what I would see 
I don't like the whole paranormal activity thing. I think the closest thing to that that I ever saw that I think growing up a lot of people went to go see was the Blair Witch Project. And it was sort of one of those things where it was kind of believable, but then as the years went on, it's like, you know, that was fake, right? Like, it wasn't real. Um, I don't know if it was based on true events. I don't remember if it was based on true events. But in any case, like... I mean, of of course, I've heard stories about people encountering, you know, spirits and things like that. And I'm just not into that thing. I'm just not into those things. So the fact that she had claimed that one had woken her up in a sensual way, like, like, I... I need to know more. Like, I need to know more to this story. I need to know exactly what happened. I'm going to see if I can find where she said this, what happened, what the, the, the situation was. I'm going to go back and try to find whatever article this was in back in 2012 where she initially said this. I don't know if there's, you know, other information on it or anything like that. But the fact that you... Like, and I've heard some crazy stuff, y'all. I've heard some crazy stuff. But let me tell you, like, if I come across, I, first of all, if I wake up and I see anything that is not <laughs> a real life person, I am out. You hear me? I am running out the house. I am leaving. Goodbye. No, I'm not doing it. I. It's just one of those things that have scared me. I feel like you know, I I feel like anything that has to do with paranormal things and things moving or, you know, the presence of things or summoning things, um, I've never, it always just gave me the creeps. It really, really did. Um, watching paranormal activity is not something that I care to do I'm just I don't care uh the conjuring no thank you no thank you um those type of you know weird satanic type of movies like none and the fact that I am you know um <laughs> the fact that I'm I don't know like I just I I'm I can't it's just not it creeps me out to even look at the cover of some of these movies because I'm just like, ew. Like, I can only imagine what's in it. So, I don't know. Like, you couldn't pay me to... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's an amount out there that I would watch these, but uh, no. No. Because I don't know. I was, I was always one of those people where if I watched it, I was scared that something was going to happen or like if I see these type of movies, it's like, okay, and just based on watching these movies, and I'm am, am I really gonna start inviting things in? You know, like I'm creepy like that. Like I, I don't I don't like stuff like that. I don't, I don't. But Kesha girl. Uh more power to you. Much luck to your uh your show. I I'm I wanna know what it's about, but I probably wouldn't watch it. I don't know, but I'm going to look into it and I'm going to come back to you guys with the original article of her saying that she did and see what it says. Um, but I just thought it was real weird to come across this the other day and I was just like, this is strange. This is really strange. But she's always been into stuff like this, so who knows? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this story. Um, you know, a lot of people may or may not know who Kesha is. She is a singer. She's been out for a while. Um, but, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!